I loved this intro so much. Uh, baita intro legal, hein? Ha, tô ficando bom nisso. Ai, que alegria. <risos> olá, olá, tudo bom? When I was a kid, I loved birthdays. Then, growing up a little, I started feeling like birthdays were a burden. Or, at the latest, just another day. Nowadays, as an adult, I feel like birthdays are a time to take a look back. Not for long, however, for I don't want no neck pain, but just enough. Enough to see how much I've grown and changed in the past year. It's a time of reflection and a time to make a self-portrait and be like, oh yeah, I still like this earring. Oh, my hair changed. Ha! <laughs> and yeah, this artwork was done in 2021. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the paintings from 2020 and 2019. I won't go too much into the reflecting on my life aspect of those paintings, but I want to show you how it was done. I didn't remember I had this recording and now that I think about it, I will use that as an introduction because next week, which is closer to my birthday, I will make a new, currently accurate self-portrait. Alright, so I started with some sketches, as usual, just figuring out the best way to show my overly slim build and adding what I wanted from the start to this painting. A huge sketchbook filled with writing more than drawings and my Wacom pen with a little holographic pinkish paper thing glued to it. And oh my, this face feels so flat from the beginning, that's so weird, <laughs> it feels bad, man. But yeah, I, I kind of fix it later on, not really, honestly. And it doesn't even look that much like me, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> One of the nicest things I've done in this painting, other than the armor, which I'll get to later on, is what I did with the line art. I made a selection of the content of the line art, and then I selected the inverse of it, I expanded it, and deleted the selection, making the line super light and, and more irregular. So let's talk about the clothing. At the time, I wasn't doing much other than work, and the virus thing was still quite crazy here and now, so things were not going great, so I made sure to add some armor to this representation of me, as if I was focusing some efforts into a more tankier build to deal with the stuff that was going on, you know. Alongside that, there's my beloved cap, it has a pin of my cat, and there's this black looking tabard thing with the cutout color, like I was enjoying using my shirts. And the chainmail is also painted with holographic looking colors, going back to the paint thing, you know, I really like holographic textures and papers and stuff, so I tried adding this here. I left the metal parts to be worked last, making it seem used in combat, beaten up like I felt I was, and I believe that's one of the things I like the most about this painting. I look at it. And I remember how I felt, and now that I think about it, I'm glad to be in a better spot right now. Not without its challenges, mind you, but still, a better place in time. 
I, I think I'll end this video here. All right, enjoy the rest of the painting and I'll see you in the next one when I will be painting myself again <laughs> and just going over more details about my choices. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Much love to you. Thank you for being here and do not forget to drink some water. And ciao ciao.